Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Us? What's up? Uh, the divine name says, hello, Father, can you speak on Thomas's connection to Dionysius the Areopagite? Should Catholics be encouraged to read Dionysius? Judging by your name, I'd say, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, judging by the church's tradition, oh, yeah. So St. Thomas wrote two commentaries on Dionysius' work. So the first is on, um, uh, gosh, the divine, no, maybe just one, just one. He wrote a commentary on, on, on Boethius's, excuse me, on Dionysius' divine names. Di Dionysius, I think, has four extant works, mystical theology. Uh, the divine names, the celestial hierarchy and the ecclesiastical hierarchy, um, you know, the kind of Dionysian corpus, right? And Dionysius, like fifth century-ish Syriac monk, very much influenced by Neoplatonic philosophy, um, you know, along with the author of the Liber de Causis and Proclus, right, are, are kind of big names in the recovery of that type of teaching, which was very influential in the years before St. Thomas kind of came on the scene, so picked up in a big way by St. Albert the Great. But it's it's huge in St. Thomas's thought in a variety of ways. Big way is the divine ideas, this idea of exemplarism, which is actually what I'm writing my dissertation on. So, yeah, I'm reading a book right now. It's on my little book stand um, by Gregory Doolin, Aquinas on the divine ideas as exemplar causes, and Dionysius comes up in a big way. So his commentary on the divine names, book five, I want to say lecture two or three is where a lot of that is uh, explained in pellucid fashion. So yes, read Dionysius, start with the divine names and St. Thomas's commentary on it.